Welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, I'm gonna, about to start my second practice one for week four of the Crawl Sudden Death Challenge. Playing as a troll enchanter. Uh, and as I mentioned, you know, the troll, we're playing like kind of as a troll troll. I'm just not going to use any of this garbage that I started with, basically. Uh, because troll claws are just so good. And they're so bad at everything else. So let's pick up large rocks, needles, stones. And uh, I, so I might, I might cast a couple of spells. Yes, attack barehanded. Uh, but mostly I'm going to be counting on... I mean, I only have one magic, right? Like, how much spell casting can I do? I'm going to be counting on my bear claws here. Not my bear claws, uh, but my bear hands, which are claws. Uh, and so the early game is usually no challenge at all for a troll, just because they're so strong. And uh, I'm hoping to use that to let me progress basically as atheist. As I mentioned in the last video, uh, I want to try to get one of this week's bonus gods, which means getting to uh, six stars of piety with uh, either Sif, Muna, or Vehemet, both of them uh, magic-focused gods even though I'm not going to be casting any magic. Uh, last game, last practice game, I tried worshipping Zom instead, and you have to stick with him forever because he doesn't really have a real piety system and there's no way to be, like, get six stars. And I just, uh, Zom is, Zom is so hard. He ruins everything. He, uh, he killed us in Elf 3 last game. I mean, and, you know, I, I helped. I killed me too. Um, but I, I was in a situation that, like, I could not have been in without Zom. Well, yeah. I mean, he, he, he berserked me as I was trying to get away from, as I was in a fight that I realized too late was a fight to get out of, and I, I did teleport. Dexterity. Um, but... Uh, then he turned me berserk the turn after, and so like even though my teleport went off and I got to someplace safe, I was lethally poisoned and I couldn't I couldn't quaff a potion of curing. Too berserk. You know, famous last words: You are too berserk. Uh, I could memorize confuse, but honestly, trying to cast anything uh, more powerful than Corona is just too ambitious. Wow. Huh. Plus six intelligence, huh? Well, I mean, hmm. I'll memorize confuse, I guess. Uh, what's the power level on that? Uh, yeah, it's one pip. Like, I'm not going to be putting any points into hexes, since, like, my aptitude for hexes is minus four. Uh, so confuse is just not really going to work, even with plus six intelligence. I guess I'll learn it, like, why not have it on... Actually, Tukima's Dance would have been a better one to choose, uh, but I'll I'll have some more spell levels at level 6, I guess. Um, because it, it gets a spell power boost, which might be enough that maybe it could affect somebody sometime. Whereas, like, I expect Confuse to just never work. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be refreshing to not have to put up with Zom this game. I can tell you, you know, uh, I won, I won a Zom game to get my my polytheist, uh, you know, so-called achievement for for winning at least one game with every god, and it's it's an experience, you know. I wouldn't do it again, uh, even if I find an like if I find an early altar of some god. Usually, if it's at all reasonable, I'll take it, and I just. I can't think of any characters where a Zom Alter is reasonable. <laughs> uh, so let's just read these scrolls here, see what they are. Fine, enchanted our robe up. Found blinking. Identify a potion. Sure, agility. Out of scrolls, let's drop the scrolls of noise. 
Um, there is some use for scrolls of noise in some niche scenarios. So like, it's a bad scroll in that it just generally alerts enemies to your location, which you don't want. Uh, but there are occasions where you do want it, and if I were if I were min-maxing a little bit more, I would carry it with me until I need to get rid of it to free up space. Uh, like you can use the loud noise to uh, snap yourself out of it when you've been mesmerized by a siren, uh, for example. Or you can use it if you want to draw every enemy on the entire floor to your location for some reason, like it's handy to have a scroll of noise, it's much louder than shouting. Uh, it's kind of fun having a little bit of stealth here, even as a troll. Usually everything hears you right away. Being an enchanter, we start with a surprising amount of stealth, which is more than any troll typically gets. No way! Dungeon 3? Like, even on Dungeon 4, an orc warrior is a serious, serious threat. But Dungeon 3? Wow! Uh, fortunately, he hasn't seen me. He just heard this orc shout. Uh, and he's at the edge of line of sight, so if I keep walking away, I don't think he ever will see me. He's just going to go to where the shout was. Huh. I mean, what would I even do about an orc warrior? What was he wielding? It was like a halberd or something awful like that, wasn't it? Uh, which just, I think I would die. Uh, and so, oops. See, I wasn't paying enough attention. I actually got away from him again. This is bizarre. Um, so I mentioned in a previous video, which may or may not have been one of the ones that got lost, that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave this floor. That orc warrior is, he can have the rest of the floor to himself. Wow, what is this all about? Why is the floor colored? Something funny is going on here. Um, that uh, So you get one chance at the Crawl Sudden Death Challenge each week as a troll enchanter. Uh, this week as a troll enchanter. And uh, after you die, that's it. How many tournament points you got, that's what you're left with. Uh, if you die before level 4, uh, you before level 5, so 4 or lower, you get, a, you get one mulligan. Um, and I'm noticing right now that I'm like just about to hit level 5, which if this were a real game would mean that it's about time to decide whether I want to try whether I want to use my mulligan or make the game real. Um, this ghost is a little bit uh, I mean it's a he's good at throwing and he doesn't have any throwing weapons, so it's probably not a huge deal, but it's a player ghost and you just don't mess with those if you can help it or until much later in the game. I'm still curious about what the deal is with that floor in there that's colored. That's a that's an effect that they use pretty rarely, uh, the map designers. Uh, so in the early game of the troll, you, uh, you want to focus uh, and build really just unarmed combat for quite a while. Ashenzari might be an okay god, I guess, if that were allowed by the challenge. Although maybe not. I don't know. Pro probably not that great. Ashenzari is good for a lot of characters, but for a melee troll, maybe not. There's this ogre. I mean, it's worth a lot of experience, but if I fight it and die, that would be sad. Um... I'm thinking I might drink a potion of agility to fight him. I I don't know what other resources I have. I haven't identified it all. Uh, I could confuse him. Maybe. So that's thirty percent chance to fail, and then only thirty eight percent chance to even affect him. So my spell power is pretty dreadful. Corona would have a slightly better chance. Um, if I had Takima's Dance, it might be a better choice. But I accidentally memorized Corona. I, I memorized Confusion before thinking better of it, sadly. Um, so, do I try to fight this troll, this uh, ogre? I guess not, right? If I, if I 
try to fight him and it's going badly, I don't have any escape options at all. So I'm just going to run away all the way back to the stairs, I guess, and try some different stairs. Stairs that don't have an ogre by them. You know, this kind of cowardice is, is what keeps the character alive. So what is the deal with all this? Can I find out, maybe? Apparently not. So where's another staircase? There's one over here. Orc warrior is a trident, not as bad as a halberd. Uh, so we're going to continue running away from him. And if we get if we get a bad staircase down here, I am not coming back. We're just we're committed. Uh, and, you know, fighting the ogre would honestly be better, I think, than an orc warrior. I'm not sure, though. Oh, a staircase to the temple. That's what this was about. No? No? That was, uh, a diff this is area that was all colored. This is, I don't know what the deal is. This is the second time I've been lucky enough, second time in a row I've found a Dungeon 4 temple. It can be as late as, uh, Dungeon 7. So there's Sif, but no Veyamed altar, huh? So Sif is the other weekly god, and Sif is just a general god of magic. Veyamed focuses on conjurations. Um, and Veyamed Wrath for abandoning Veyamed is typically uh, pretty nasty, and Sif Wrath is bad, but it's not as bad. So if I could get Sif to six stars of piety, uh, I would rather take Sif and abandon. But uh, to get Sif piety, you have to train spell or magic skills. And I am just not willing to spend that much experience on like stuff I don't really want. I don't know. Could I... Could I maybe take Sif and, like, actually train some hexes to get Tukima's dance working? It's a possibility, I suppose. Hmm. But I think I just wouldn't... I still wouldn't be spending enough experience in my magic skills to get to six stars in any reasonable amount of time. You, you need to spend quite a lot, I think, to get to six stars of piety. So, reluctantly, I'm going to have to leave the temple with no god. I mean, I could I could take one of the other, you know, I could take Trog or something and give up the one point for championing a god. And uh, if this were the real tournament game, I might do that. Uh, but I want this practice game to help me find out how bad Vehemet Wrath is if you abandon early. Is it something I can survive if I find a Vehemet Altar in real life? Uh, yes. So the Orc Warrior went over that way, which means I can I can sort of explore down here. So that, that's kind of a bummer. I got that early temple, which is great, but no altar. That I, so this looks like an altar vault to somebody. I don't think it, I think it's like just a random god at the end. I used to think it was a Sif altar, but Vehemet, oh, thanks, I'll take it. I'm glad I came back upstairs. I might never have found the Vehemet altar, uh, and this whole experiment would have gone to waste. That orc warrior, man, that's, uh, that could have been pretty bad wasted the whole practice game. Uh, but okay, so we're gonna go to like here, I guess, and hopefully not run into the Orc Warrior. Uh, how's my unarmed combat? Still just six. Unarmed combat is a big experience sink. Uh, it needs a lot of experience. It, it scales very well with experience, and if you have low skill in it, it's quite bad. Uh, so let's memorize Tukima's dance now. Yes, equals SCT equals SBT, BC rather. Um, 
So I'm going to be training only on armed combat for a while, and even more so on a troll, because uh, you get a lot more damage every time you hit because of your claws. And it's like the only thing you don't have a bad aptitude for is, is unarmed combat. So it's really, there's a lot of things, there's a reason that like, I kind of think every troll is just a troll troll, not a troll wizard or whatever. And there are people who, you know, you can, you can play trolls in a different style, uh, but it's a lot harder and it's not uh, obvious to me. I don't, I don't have the skill to recognize when I can really play a troll that differently, um, if indeed it is something you can do. <laughs> Ring of Sea Invisible, that's nice. Last game I was plagued by a lot of unseen horrors. Where did this hobgoblin come from? I was in here a second ago, and he wasn't there. Uh, and we're going to eventually diversify into dodging and fighting. Uh, fighting is good on a troll because you have such a big uh, health pool that the multiplicative increase from fighting makes a big difference. Uh, and likewise, um, you can't wear much armor, so dodging is your only other real source of defenses than just like having a big HP pool and tanking everything. So there's this ghost. I don't know. I'd kind of like to try fighting him. I don't have a good reason for that. Like when I, when I say that out loud, I'm like, wait a minute, that's, that's just dumb. Uh, there's no real advantage. You get some experience. It would be nice. Wow. Okay. Uh, so there, like, is an example of why I shouldn't have been fighting an ogre. Uh, I regen quite quickly as a troll, so I can do some, like, sort of pillar dancing here. And I can either reset the fight this way, you know, start over at, at full health, or... Yeah, the worker ant is going to put a, a kink in this plan, though. So I'll, I'll kill him and get back to running away, I guess. Uh, it feels so shameful, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And, uh, you know, if there's a giant ogre chasing you, there's not a lot of shame in running away. Yeah, okay. So we made it to the staircase again. Uh, and... I don't know. What do I do? So at least the Orc Warrior is in yellow now. Like, I'm not quite as afraid of him. Obviously, he's still just as frightening as he was, but we're at a higher level now. And a big chunk of this level is explored. There's really just, like, this up here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and declare this level finished for the moment. So we're skipping some enemies and we're going to be a little bit behind the experience power curve uh, but not not by any more than a troll normally is really not by a lot more anyway trolls just have bad aptitudes for everything so they're damn it offers me knowledge of sting great so i i i have one pip of vehement piety you know we're, we're a sixth of the way there um which, which gods did we find in Temple anyway? So Trog is there, Okawaru we found. So those are the two that I would be most inclined to switch to. Um, right? Is there anybody else I would really consider? Uh, I mean, you could maybe do... You could maybe do like Zin. Well, uh, Zin and his dietary restrictions is not so good for a troll. Um... I'm trying to think, like, who... Could you really go Dithmenos and try to steal the the pan rune you need to get to? Maybe. Um, Zin, is, Zin is one of the good gods. Uh, the trinity of Zin, the Shining One, Elivalon. And so they're particularly good in, in Hell and Pandemonium. Uh, but they require a lot of invocation skill and, like... I don't know, trolls are not great at that. Although they're better than they're at most things. Uh, and I just, I don't think I'll have the experience to do all that. 
Um, maybe I will. I don't know. I could switch for Quasal. Uh, I mean, why am I fighting all this? Jeez, what an idiot. Okay, where are the stairs? I've, I've had a, a troll Quasal game that went well, and Quasal is all about invocations also. Uh, and that was okay. I got... I just trained a lot of invocations and used used them for things where the usual troll smash uh, was not cutting it, and it went all right. So maybe I could do that or one of the good gods. Uh, but, you know, Trog and Okawaru are sort of like the obvious choice. Uh, they're big buffs for melee characters, or uh, for ranged characters too. Anyone who doesn't use spells gets a big buff from both of those. And Okawaru even really is not bad for people who cast some spells. Trog hates magic, and like if you cast any spells, he excommunicates you or something. Uh, maybe he just gets mad, I don't know. But either one, you don't want that to happen. Uh, so we, you know, are not really going to be doing much of that, so that would be fine. I guess that's Quaff Agility here? I didn't really think this was going to be a big deal, but apparently it is. Okay, fine. So we have several... I guess they both had Daggers of Pain, which was a big part of the problem. I don't know what this door is about. Don't touch it. Uh, so, you know, Trog, Trog just gives you a gigantic buffs to fighting mostly in melee, uh, and Okawaru for anything physical. What the heck? Are these supposed to be, like, suits or something? No, they're, like, diamond-shaped. I don't know. Nemelex is god of cards and luck. Um, so I don't really understand what that altar has, altar has to do with him. Like, I saw four things, and like some of them are black, and some of them are red, and like it sort of suggests it's supposed to be the four suits of a deck of cards, but I don't really understand the shapes. And they already have some suit-shaped uh, vaults for him, so it's not like it's impossible to fit the shapes into the game. I don't know. A hill giant. How much, How are we with a wand? Eh, not not so good on a hill giant. I don't don't throw anything at him. Run away. Oh, I got teleported here. I don't have an escape route. Interesting. That's good to know. Uh, sort of bad to be true, but good to know. Uh, so how about Takima's dance? This looks like a good time for a Potion of Brilliance. I'm not going to find an, a lot of uses for this all game. And uh, now, like, you get a big spell power boost, all your failure chances drop to really low. Uh, so I think Takima's Dance is actually uh, pretty likely to work here. Nope. Well, you know, we tried. Ouch. Ouch. I should have quaffed agility before I got into this fight. Yeah. Once Takima stopped working, I should have quaffed agility. Well, that's too bad. I'm glad it wasn't the real uh, tournament game. Got into a bad situation, used some resources to try to prevent the problem, but not enough. Uh, and then I just sort of macho tried to go through it. To, you know, I, I, he was almost dead, and I even hit him and twice, and he still was almost dead. He just like I rolled very low on damage, I guess. But you know, I should have quaffed agility, and then he probably wouldn't have hit me as many times, and it would have been easy. Uh, how long? How long did that all take? Almost half an hour. Uh, it's a short video, but uh, I'll just make this its own its own video. So that was uh, that was my second practice game. I'm gonna play another one. I really do want to see what happens to Vehemet at six stars. So I'll be right back with that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.